This is how we draw Garfield. Garfield actually is in three equal parts. If you draw three circles, just like this, you've got all the Garfield parts, the head, the belly, and the feet. Now from here, I start with the eyeballs. The eyeballs are like the windows to the soul, and they're the most important part because they're the expression. And you can see I start with two circles and work them like this. We're working at like a three-quarter angle, and then on top of that I put his ears. Everything that's expressive on Garfield is large. You notice he has the big eyes and then this big mouth. And that way when he smiles, he smiles very big. And this is very important in getting the humor and to helping the character act as well. Now we round out this top circle with the jaws and his big cheeks. And getting little cat whiskers up here. You notice how they kind of uh, fall down with the weight of gravity there. And also, Garfield isn't perfect circles. Notice this. Look how, look how the, there's this natural weight. He looks like a water balloon. And uh, that just makes him look like he's, he's actually grounded somewhere <laughs> underneath this. And we do the same thing with the belly. Notice how it's flattened and rounds a little more here. Here's his back shoulder, bottom. And then the arms hang not straight down, but have a little bit of bend to them. Everything's a little bit angular, you'll notice. And this keeps everything soft and flowing and animated. And this is his hand. He's waving. So we use these little motion lines like this to indicate movement up and down. So do some more stripes here. I just do little squiggles for the stripes. Doing a drawing like this. Now here, we do his feet. Now he doesn't have little tiny cat feet. He has big feet to give him some natural weight, that's so he doesn't fall over. Finish this out, give him another foot back there. Again, everything is real rounded and very flowing. And this, I think this is funnier. It's just funnier to have lines like this. If they're, the lines are real straight, then they're real stiff, and there's not much humor. You know, everything, they, they look like they're very uncomfortable when they move around. So, let's see, and don't forget, when you're done here, put some little shadows under the character. So it looks like you're standing on the ground. And the most important part, of course, is signing your work. So put your signature underneath like this. There you have it. That's how we draw Garfield.